what is your advice for entrepreneurs um, dealing with failure and adversity, yeah. right? I mean, I can remember when I was first starting Law Trades and we were raising our first round of funding, I must have gotten rejected by at least 100 different um, investors. And from each rejection, I took it as like, all right, how can I sort of like improve from there? Or like, you know, what are some data points that I can like capture to sort of improve my next pitch and so on and so forth. But for a lot of folks out there, it's a very lonely, uh, <laughs> you know, distressing sort of like uh, path that they take. Um, how do you how do you how do you deal with that yourself? But also like, what's some advice you could give to, to entrepreneurs that are out there in, in dealing with failure and adversity? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like to some extent you embraced it, um, and it's very easy to say embrace it. Um, but you have to say, what is the goal of the initial meetings that I'm going to be having? If the expectation of trying to raise money in an initial meeting is that money is just going to be coming and flowing left and right at you, and people are just going to be falling in love with your with your concept, you know, majority of the time, then you need to reset those expectations. Right. Um, it's very easy to say that failure is far more valuable than success, but it really is. Yeah. And, and like the most important thing an entrepreneur can, can do is to say, I am going to embrace failure. 